The Scud missile is a type of short-range ballistic missile that has been produced and deployed by several countries around the world. The missile was first deployed in the Soviet Union in the late 1950s and early 1960s, and has since been produced in a number of variants. While the Scud missile was originally designed as a strategic weapon, it has been since adopted for use in a range of different military roles. Since its first commission into service with the Soviet Army in 1964, the Scud missile has made an impact in multiple conflicts around the world. It has proven itself to be a formidable terror weapon and a desperately needed alternative to potent air forces that many countries lack. At its core, the Scud missile is an upgraded missile based on the German V-2 rocket. The Scud missile first entered service in the Soviet military officially in 1964. There was nothing groundbreaking about the design of the missile or its effects on the global theater or battlefield. However, it was the ease of use, versatility, wider accessibility, and the terror it caused that gave the Scud its notoriety. One of the main features of the Scud is its range. The missile is designed to be able to travel a distance of up to 300 kilometers in its Scud B variant, making it well suited for use in short range missions. The Scud missile is also known for its relatively decent um, level of accuracy, which makes it a formidable weapon against enemy targets. The Scud missile is typically powered by a single stage liquid fuel rocket engine, which provides it with the thrust needed to reach its target. The missile is equipped with a guidance system that is designed to keep it on course during its flight, allowing it to hit its intended targets with a moderate degree of precision. The Scud also carries a warhead, which can be fitted with a range of different payloads depending on the specific mission requirements. One of the key advantages of the Scud missile is its mobility. The missile can be easily transferred transported and launched from a variety of different platforms, including trucks, trailers, and even trains. This makes it a highly versatile weapon that can be deployed in a wide range of different scenarios. The most infamous variant is the Scud B, or the R-17 Elbrus. The missile itself weighs roughly 6400 kilograms, with the warhead weighing around 1000 kilograms. It has a range of 300 kilometers and a terminal speed of Mach 5, which is Mach 5 is 5 times the speed of sound. The missile itself weighs roughly 6400 kilograms, with a warhead weighing around 1000 kilograms. It has a range of 300 kilometers and a terminal speed of Mach 5, which means that it can fly at speeds of up to 5 times the speed of sound. The Scud's first operational wartime use was in 1973, when three missiles were fired by the Egyptian army against Israeli positions in the Sinai. It did not take long for it to be used again, as it was extensively used during the eight-year war between Iran and Iraq. The two countries reportedly fired a thousand Scud or Scud derivative missiles at each other. Around that time, the missile was also used by the Soviet military during the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan, where the Red Army launched over 2,000 Scuds at targets across the country. The Scud gained global attention during the 1991 Gulf War, when the Iraqi army fired almost 100 missiles at Israeli cities and coalition barracks in Saudi Arabia. Many predicted that their prominence would fade over time, as potent missile defenses become more widespread. However, this was not the case. Nations such as Syria, Iran, and North Korea continued to upgrade the design by extending the range and accuracy of the missile. The motivation to upgrade the Scud only grew as the aerial supremacy gap between these countries and their potential adversaries grew. Today, many people think of Houthi attacks on Saudi cities when the Scud is the topic of conversation. Even then, many experts and analysts have argued that the Scud design has outlived its use, basing such arguments mainly on the advances that have been accomplished in the field of missile defense and the widespread proliferation of defense systems such as the US Patriot Air Defense System. Another point many analysts argue is the long launch preparation process, especially since it is fueled with liquid fuel which has been injected into the missile on site. This could help an opposing force to locate and destroy launch sites through airstrikes or artillery attacks. However, the truth is that the Scud missile is still very much alive and is not set to die anytime soon. I say this because of the drastic upgrades that have been introduced to the missile's structure and targeting systems. 
One of the main points of attraction of the Scud is its simple design, which makes it more accessible and open to reconfigurations and upgrades by less industrially developed nations. Countries such as Iran and North Korea have continued to upgrade their existing inventories through adding more fuel and applying modern and inexpensive upgrades to the engines. For example, derivatives such as Iran's Qiam missile and North Korea's Scud ER, which stands for extended range, have ranges of about 1 1,000 kilometers or more. Through replacing the steel frame with aluminum and reshaping the warhead to improve stability and reduce drag, much of the kinetic energy can be preserved to improve the flight profile and extend the range. The redesign of the missile can also result in a higher terminal speed due to the extended flight time. In addition, the introduction of modern guidance systems, be they inertial or satellite navigation systems, can greatly reduce the number of missiles required to eliminate a given target. Now, you could add all this to a separable maneuvering warhead and some decoys, and the Scud becomes a serious weapon of war, one that can still cause wide devastation on the modern battlefield. Finally, we are often reminded through witnessing conflicts in the Middle East and elsewhere that even non-state actors can overwhelm missile defenses through saturation attacks, regardless of how sophisticated the ballistic missiles are. Add this all up, and we can find that due to its simplicity, low cost, accessibility, and versatility, it is safe to say that the Scud isn't going away anytime soon and that it will continue to be a significant part of any modern military equation. In conclusion, the Scud missile is a highly effective short-range ballistic missile that has been used in a number of conflicts around the world. Its high accuracy, mobility, and versatility make it a formidable weapon against enemy targets in its new and modern configurations. However, the missile is not without its limitations, and modern air defense systems have been steadily improving and increasing in capabilities, which has made it increasingly difficult to successfully deliver the warhead to its intended target. Despite these challenges, the Scud missile remains an important weapon in the arsenals of many countries around the world, and its continued use is likely to be a topic of debate in the years to come. Thank you so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe for future videos and shorts.